spooky, scary spaceship. Just the Vandal light fighter. Um, but these are replicas, aren't they? Why does They're it look like scarier? it has a little face on the front of it? Like it's got little eyes and nose and a mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that's it. Now, now they're non-threatening. <laughs> you ruined the Vandal for me. Looks like a flying Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. I think the, there's definitely it inspiration like a happy from little it. ship. I don't look like a happy bird. They're quite nice to fly. I mean, I haven't flown one. Is that the one that you sort of like a motorbike? Uh, yes. Actually, we should be able to get in it. So, can you ram with this ship? Is that one of the uh, gameplay mechanics or whatever? Uh, I don't think specifically this one. They, d they do have a, uh, a boarding one. I can't remember what it's called. We've only seen um, like a few pictures of it. The driller. But that's a, like, no, no, that, that's a big one. There's actually a boarding one that comes and cuts a hole in the side of your ship. The I can't seem to target the cockpit. It looks like all you can do is rent. What are these weapons? Oh, well, we have to fly outside, but... Yeah, don't forget to rent the ships. There we go, so the old man's got it. There we go. Go for a ride. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> looks kind of pervy, man. It looks like, you know, one of those sex swings. <laughs> yeah, there's these arms pivot and you can pinch someone like you can lock them in place. I thought so. Yeah. See, totally. Guy <laughs> of stand right here looks like right up. That's how you get into it. So stand kind of right here and look straight up. There we go, thank you. Yeehaw! So in law, Asperia build them as just replicas. Uh, I don't think there is. I can't remember if they did mention they did actually pick some real ones up. There was an old, um, I think it's the glaive that you could get that was a captured one. Uh, an old pledge reward, which is a, it's just a rarity now. So you can still get the glaive, but it's a, it is the replica. Actually getting a Vandal glaive is, is not something you can do now. Oh, it's well, their, their uh, bodies are different, right? Is that what the theory was they're, they're bigger their bodies are a lot larger yeah yeah they're, yeah. they're still humanoids oh it's let me out see wait for the you're fucked <laughs> this try why i'll try and why shift you oh here we go there here we go. go one more time it's doing stuff Stop doing stuff. Oh, this is fun. Power off. Keep trying. Keep trying. Why? I had to get it. I can see Biv sat there on his tank, leg, legs astride the cannon. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, flatten his pants with a pint of beer, yeah. Uh, the, uh, jealousy gets you nowhere. You know, it's an ugly emotion. Oh, <laughs> no jealousy. All right, I'm Banny. Impressed. You just want to come and have a ride in my tank. <laughs> oh, any day. Any day, Viv. You just set up the, you set the tank going. I'll join you. We've got a fleet car. Oh, you've got one, haven't you, Alba? Uh, we've got two. What hasn't Alpha got? Honestly, we, we can fill. We I mean, can yeah. fill. And, and fill yeah, we've got options. That's true. Yeah. You're unique. Flick. You're unique. What, when it's when its mouth is open, it looks like Nobody a crab. Nobody else is stupid enough to buy one. That's yeah. the problem. The crab yeah. ship. Yeah, if we you look from here, it really looks so, like so it. So the banner. The two eyes, the mouth open. <laughs> yeah, I I I hate the look of it, but I I love flying it. it it's um. When you look around at like the little ship. detail of it, it it I think it's one of the most detailed ships. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, <laughs> crab people. <laughs> <laughs> so so the yeah yeah. Used to go with no clothes on. So the Banu, the Banu are the f in law the first race that we met, that humans met. But these ships, so they're they're kind of I think nomadic traders. Um, but the tech they use is just hodgepodge, kind of the best of whatever they can find from other races that they trade with. You can make a really good gif of that. <laughs> yeah, well, weirdly with the naked guy stood in the middle. Wait, is that a <laughs> with his Lakuta's hat on? Actually, that says it all. I'll just do a screenshot with H-Dog in the middle, flexing. It, it was mentioned, it's I don't think the they've table. confirmed 100%, but I think it's been considered. Yeah. It, it, I'll be careful with the word here. They're, think, they're thinking about it, but then everything about the Merchant Man is still un, oh, yeah. uncertain. So it could. It, it could. Are you sure this is the right place? It'd be, it'd be neat if, it, if they did make wow. it work. <laughs> you got a female lad me right here, we're both in here watching it. <laughs> so I lost Alpha's pip. Yeah, me too. I, I, I'm beep. stood next to it, I'm just seeing if there's any kind of decent info on the Q&A for it. Oh, will it be possible to store a Defender inside a Merchantman's cargo hold? We're considering options for this, but haven't decided one way or the other whether the Defender will be able to be carried internally in the Merchantman at this time. I think sub since that, because that's a bit old now, they, they have said it's still being considered some kind of um, like synergy between the two. And it uses tachyon cannons, so it's a new weapon that they added in. Jesus beams. <laughs> yeah. They don't kind of work they very work well at the moment. Awesome. I, I'm not having much they fun were, with like, them, but... One shot, one kill. So it uses the Terravan shields as well, so uh, I think they have very high ballistic. So they're kind of the best uh, shields to use at the moment. Sukron, yeah. Yeah. Sukron. A lot of people use them, though, just for the ship. They'll take them off the ship and put them on uh, 
other ships for dog fighting. I know a lot of people use them. A couple but that I know. I, I use it as a go-to ship. You can do combat in it pretty well, um, but it's the range that's it. that's amazing. So you're not a lot of the smaller fighters. You're kind of restricted with range, but this one you can whiz up and down the system in. Um, you've got the two seats. You got bed. If you wanted to do some delivery stuff, you you fine with it. You, you can got two beds. Out. Two beds, yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't have a friend. So isn't there a companion mechanic too with the uh, merchantmen, like these two? Supposedly. Right. I just remember a long time ago that being dropped on the actors. You can lose the arms as well, and it just leaks green goo everywhere. Light. Oh my god, I am on the ship. Nice. But completely different uh, look and feel when this come out to anything else that we've had before. Little kind of grown or bony. Although we can't really it see it. It looks very Ender's lights. Game, the movie Ender's Game. Yeah. Uh, what have we got next? Should we do the little car to owl, if I can ever pronounce it. Yeah. I think we'll all be arguing on how, to, how it is pronounced. I think, every, I think everyone's going to because it's car to owl. To owl. To owl. <laughs> so here we go, to owl. To it, to owl. The starfish ship. That it's weird like alien thingy. Me. So it reminds like me of... Um, chasing after you. I love the sound design on the ship. The sound design is good. I don't like the rest of it. Oh, I, th I think it looks. I like I like the ladder on it's this. Different. It's just an inspiring. It's like a anti gravity ladder. Like, why can't you have more of that stuff? Frick. But they can be bothered to model in the rest of the ladder. Do you imagine Trip slipping on that ladder and like, oh? Help and shift your nightmare. <laughs> Stub my had a shin buster. <laughs> shin buster. <laughs> that would suck. It's not kind of a fun little uh, ship to fly around until you break off an engine. Alright, so this is Yarn, yeah? yeah? Yes. This is their, their Scout uh, Explorer one. Uh, so, it's supposed to be one of the most maneuverable Scout Explorers because of the four engines. So it switches uh, into like a horizontal mode when you're flying. Crashed too much to buy one of these. I got one as a loner for my experience. The talons. Ah, oh, right, okay. But it's another cool, kind of unique one to use, but I, I don't know, they're, they're a bit limited if it's just a fighter. When your weapons running, you can always use the front of it as a spear light. <laughs> yeah. Stick with the pointy end. It is a prowler. No, I, so this I isn't that old now, is it, when it comes out? Um, where you can See cover, this up the, uh, cover up the cockpit uh, window. It's the way I see yeah. most space vessels being in real life. Like, you would yeah, never they have, have cameras. Never yeah, have cockpit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, windows are structural nightmare. I mean, you guys have seen what a, a speck of paint does that you know flies around our atmosphere. What was it like thirty that travels thirty thousand miles an hour? Hit the hit the space shuttle.
Well, I think this is supposed to like design to hot drop in like com ground combat zones. That's just has it's to be, be stealthy. stealthy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, what was the crew? Uh, there's a pilot and a gunner, and the yeah. rest of the seats. Um, Charge about eight or ten in the back or something, isn't three, it? Three. That's like eighteen. It holds. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One good thing 14, about 15, the 16. 16. pilot can lock himself in the uh, cockpit and nobody can get in there and, and shoot him in the back. If he picks I up. don't know why they have that feature, but I do appreciate it. Right. It's a good security thing. Force people to be good. Yeah. Well, disable them from being bad. It has the air shield as well, doesn't it? So we mentioned this the other day with the caterpillar at the front. So it doesn't doesn't vent air. So you can just uh, jump out really quickly. But it's the only ship with um, like that hot drop, quick disembark. Yes, the Valkyrie must be more heavy. I'm, what, what, I'm not going to get what, in the cockpit. What, 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 I can't actually target the chair anyway, I was going to try the cockpit, it's got quite a unique cockpit on it. Uh, don't do it. A lot of people use this ship, or were using it as a fighter. Yeah, I still do sometimes. Because it has big weapons and it's still decently maneuverable. Mm -hmm. So it actually qu works quite well. There, like there was, Sorry, there was two pages of uh, Q&As for the Prowler. So I'll, I'll quickly flick through. I'm not going to go through everything. I like these uh, the starboard and port side fins. They're, uh, when you jump out of the, the egress points on the sides, they make for a good spot for cover when they're down, like when they're let down. Yeah. So it's got the grav levs on it as well. Um, so that that's mentioned. And then they say it gives it additional flight control when traversing along uneven surfaces. This comes quite handy, comes in quite handy when trying to position the prowler alongside a large capital ship or inside a planetary fortification. So it's supposed to be stealthy boarding gameplay, I think is what it's designed for I think this will be a great ship to uh, just stealthy land on uh, those capital ships you know to be able to get in yeah, yeah. so in, in law it is described as having unrivaled stealth capabilities but uh, they describe it as being built for stealth deployment and emergency extraction. So if you're going in quiet or coming out loud, it's an excellent choice. We're trying to come out quiet. <laughs> yeah, sneak out. Mm-hmm. Sabotage something, never even know you were there. It is, this, it is a short-range craft. So more akin to a landing craft than a long-range transport. Yeah, I think I think of what I think I'm like I said. I think you go from your operation base, like your like pirate whatever, your pirate, you're like Kraken. You pick up your crew, your Krakens, you know, with, you know, maybe a couple moons away or something. There, jumps in there, quiets, you know, stealths up, comes in and then drops in on like your your target. Yeah, I mean. We've been talking with the ships and when we're looking around them and I think a couple of times boarding and stuff like that's come up because it's not, it's going to be a lot more involved. You don't, there's no, uh, currently there's health bars on the ship. So once you've damaged them enough, that health bar's down, it blows up. When they sort out the physicalized damage and you're actually crippling the ship, boarding becomes an option. Um, yeah. And defending your ship uh, uh, as well. So I think the, we will see these, but that, that's a good combo with um, a Kraken. 
I don't know if it would if it's too big to fit in like an Idris because those are their big crew complement. You know what's really interesting is the um the arms on it they look like they fold up like you could um the, the go down to the landing gear it looks like they can fold up like underneath the ship so you could in theory compress the ship down even more yeah um because one of the things we've we've kind of speculated about is ultimately with those big ships if you do do a boarding especially if it's another capital ship or even uh, um, you know you're in orbit and there's an operation on the ground how do you now move your your 20 people crew to the ground um, I think well this will be one of the it's this or the Valkyrie I think they're the only true other drop ships in the game and the Valkyrie's like too drop. big to fit definitely too big for an Idris definitely too big for a Javelin I'm not I don't know where the prowler sits uh, in that regard but I mean you could get a Valkyrie on a Kraken I don't think the Kraken's designed to support that many people but you could if you're moving them from one area to another isn't it and then doing a ground launch uh, the the Terravin styled ships use the phalanx shields, so that's something that we don't have in where they can share the shields, isn't it, between them, so they can make it all. Fa is it face in one direction? And stronger together, yeah. or something. Yeah. It's a it, it's apes together strong, but with shields. It's supposed to. Uh, I believe your talons you're talking about also use that. So uh, I think they were pictured as a. We'll see them in a minute. They, they were pictured as like an escort for the um, prowler. It's a cool ship. What's going on, Phil? Hello. How are you guys doing today? Hey, everyone. Oh, pretty good. I figured I'd see what you guys were doing down here. We're just doing a little stream tour of the IAE today on the oh. for the Xeno Day. Those guys are bummer all talking about politics, so I decided to come down here. <laughs> yeah, <they'll laughs> escape it. <laughs> <laughs> Not my skis. Oh, this is the uh, <laughs> this is actually the the full so the glaive that we normally have by uh, a spear is I don't know which is the captured one, because one of them is like just half a wing. Yeah. May I interject? Is it Alien Day? Yes. yes. Yeah. Beautiful. So the is the revised gl uh, glaive in then? Because uh, they have a new no. glaive. Yeah, it's not the new one. Ah, oh, I was excited for that. Actually, I might be able to stream it. I guess here the blade's as well. getting overhaul as well. The blade's already been overhauled though, that, that looks a lot different than the glaive. So you're yeah, definitely going to be able to use these wings as for ramming and slicing, right? Yep. Oh, yeah, does does someone right do now. the cockpit then, bravely? Yeah. yeah. Well, what just happened, but that blade just shot out right at my face. That was crazy. Oh yeah, what's happening there? Is that the side? I'm pressing, I'm pressing you. <laughs> it came like right at my face and was like, Wah! I like literally almost jumped out of my chair. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I am sort of stuck. I'm trying to get the right distance to get it all in. Go on, try that. There we go. Can you even buy the ship in, in, in the store? Uh, you might be able to today. I'm not I, I know one yeah. of the glaives was a, just a one-time deal, but um, I don't know if you can still get like a lower version. You know, I said I so it is, you, you can buy the replica glaive, version, the but glaive. not the Vandal version. The Vandal version, it would, like the captured Vandal ship, only went on sale once. Yeah, the medium fighter. Oh, you can rent it, late. Oh, is this the one you have to uh, do Vandal Swarm finish it to get? Or is that just the paint? I don't think you can do that one now. Oh, but you can still do it. I don't think you get a reward for it. The 
it, it's surprising how big it is, isn't it? <laughs> but I don't like the bit the uh, side blade coming up the front now. Well, I think it's got say, huge there's like cannons that are play. running next to the blades, too. They do. Uh, last time I was flying them, every time you fired them, it would um, overheat. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. If we can rent it, though, this is another one, we'll, we'll have a little mess today. Yeah, you can rent it, I'll just rent it. So we can always... We, uh, will it, we can always come in still tomorrow. <coughs> we can always visit this one again tomorrow and rent them again if uh, we don't have time today. But the, the I know Bobby just mentioned the new one. The new one definitely looks a bit deadly. Uh, what was left here? Uh, the everything the hollows. I wish I could change the color of my underwear. That'd be great. In game or? Well, you know. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, don't you Relative. usually wear brown, so? Right. I actually do wear black, just because of that. We should have the bikes first before uh, we do the hollows. Oh, yeah. Can you reinvite me back to the party? Oh, cool. Oh, I've joined Kiltak by accident. I don't know why. The Nox. Glorious. It reminds me a little bit of maybe Tron, maybe. It does, right? They're cool. If you get, if, uh, where's my, where's Nakai? You can be the guinea pig. Uh, trying to rejoin the server because I got trapped in the glaive. The, got trapped in the glaive. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants a guinea pig? There we go. Oh, man. I, I really like the animation on these. It covers you back. And the layout of the uh, the guns just slung underneath as well. It's a cool, cool little. Um... Actually, I was flying one around on aerial today. They're, they're still a little bit glitchy on landing if you go over any jumps or anything, but they're still they're a lot better to fly around now. They've sorted out the uh, terrain and removed some of the rocks. Pin, this is 100% a must-have in your inventory. Whether you get it in game or whatever you do with it, but. What's up? The Nox. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically a racer. Yeah. Yeah, they they are um, they're quite cool to fly around on. They work in yeah. space as well, so that that's the kind of the benefit because there are the Ranger bikes, aren't they? We saw on the Hollow the other day from Tumbro. Um, yeah. But uh, any what I, I think it is is it the Gravlev system? But anything that kind of floats around can be used in space as well. Um, <coughs> the dragonfly. These two, this one and the dragonfly, are two must have, yeah. I think. So the, these are going to be really useful. There is a there is a difference when between the right. yeah yeah when they're working right. But there is a difference between these and then the ranger bikes and what they've said, um, which is on the for the ranger Q and A. Cross water with those. 
Yeah, so so there's benefits to using one or the other, but areas where you might not be able to get in with, um, you know, a ship or flying, that there might be. Um, Especially if you're trying to like cover like water or lava or acid or something, you could just hover above with those. Yeah, th these would be good, but like the trade-off between the bikes where you've actually got wheels would be that if if there is an area that is difficult to get to. Uh, it might also affect these, um, which means the advantage to the, the wheeled stuff. But yeah, anything over water or anything like that is going to be a no-brainer. They mentioned uh, like there could be environmental hazards on planets that stop the that prohibit maglev. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you all in the server, the Uh Yes. I can chuck you an invite, Kurt, one second. Oh, I just joined server again. I'm running to the expo now. Oh, I'm just seeing if there's anything to further to note from the Q&A. Hey, Kai, you're based in the Netherlands, isn't it? Yeah. Open Canopy Racer. That's what's the description of this. What's it like over there? Did the lockdown get more strict? Um, yeah, we couple of weeks back, uh, cases started spiking, going up again. Uh, uh, since right, then it's like a wave of them. Yeah, since then it's been going down, but we're still yeah. in, in... Go to the right. Let's check to look down. People are getting silly again here in Canada. Yeah, I was, when I was, I was living in the Netherlands there for a few months, I got told to come back because of work. And I was just oh. starting to get hurt stricter. <sighs> yeah. We've got all the Albertans out in Canada who are like defying the, the restrictions for COVID, so the numbers are just skyrocketing. Everybody's yeah, losing first, their jobs the, again. First, the the high the highest um, mass case is wherever there are either students or Do you want really to serious hold, Christians. Hold that chat for like 10, 15 minutes while we finish this. Uh, I'm joining you, sir. By the way. Um, so this is actually the first time I've... Well, we've seen pictures of the talent anyway, haven't we? We've seen little hollows uh, off the website, but... That's looking... That's looking tidy. Yeah. I'm yeah. really glad I bought bottom. It's just got the detachable uh, cockpit as well, hasn't it? <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's right. The, the uh, ejection, box. yeah. Phalanx shields. So... We were just saying with the Prowler, that should pair up nicely with the Prowler. Although, you, that's extra people you need. To find, you're going to find 16 people to sit inside, two crew, and then uh, another pilot for your for your escort. Well, ah. these things are kind of like um, guerrilla warfare thing. They, don't, they, aren't, they aren't designed to... Hit and run. Yeah. Oh, you guys, there's a purple fucking camo for the arrow. <laughs> I just accidentally saw it when I was switching camos. It went, my whole fucking arrow went bright purple. Wow. Oops. I, I recorded really? it. I recorded it, yeah. I recorded <laughs> nice. it. I just switched to my library and it turned bright fucking purple for a second. <laughs> Epic. That's, um, not that I want it, but it, I just I just saw a little sneak, I think. <laughs> it's not actually a camo. It's not a pain. So it's, which uh, one's this one? When the skins aren't available, things turn purple. Yeah. Yeah, remember you saw the big purple ball on everything? Are you sure? Because it looked yeah. like yeah. it had different aspects. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. still sure. I like all the little bits that come off the back of it. That looks really cool. When you have a whole planet or purple, yeah, it's it's a skin thing. It's when you catch it. I'd rather have this than the wall. Sure. <laughs> oh, no, my actual ship in my inventory. Oh, no, I know. Oh, okay. okay. Well, um, I've had planets Say... go purple, ships go purple, and all sorts. It's a pity when someone's legs go purple, but I think that's on purpose, the, eh? The car to L, um, there's another one, isn't there? We, we don't see it this show, and there's no hollow for it. It's the Santa Guy, which is the, the beefed up version. I quite like the car to L, but not not uh, it's not something I think I'd be flying around in, but the Santa Yai would definitely just all beefed up. Um, which one's this? Because I know one's a missile one and. This is the normal one. Yeah, this is the normal Strike support next guns. Door. Yeah. They're not they're not specifically or dedicated stealth, but they they apparently sit between the saber and the hornet ghost. Yeah, they're, they're quiet. They're not like stealth 
healthy, but they're quiet ships. I upgraded to this thing, so I mean, I'll keep it for now until, you know, next year, basically, because I certainly can't afford to be upgrading to anything else. Upon they come in one. hot, expend their payload, and then leave. Is it yeah. their defense right is on their... is on the aft side, I think, if I remember correctly. And they've got that new iridescent... Um, right. I don't know, paint or uh, shader stuff that they're using. Well, that they look cool. I think these, this and the Kraken have been like some of the best looking hollows we've seen. Yeah, yeah it yeah, started off really good, then want to, want went a bit bad. These, yeah, you can see that, well, these, these are due to be flight ready next month. December. Yeah, yeah. like the, the, this exterior they're showing is, is just finished. Um, probably. Are these size fives on here? Or fours? I can't it, I think it has the... pretty good size, sized guns. Right. I think it's size two, size three or four, Matt. This is supposed to be a heavy shooter and then a heavy missile boat. This isn't the missile, yeah, the one we're at, or I'm at, isn't the missile one, is it? Should we go to the next room? Is oh. it both the talons? I can't remember from this. Yeah. I see the guns on there, I think. Right, yeah, it has two size four mans. Oh, here we go, the strike. Talent. Two size fours. That's pretty so, damn good for a 20 ass ship. Can we see the right, missile? Yeah. It's got a custom missile rack, hasn't it? Yeah, it's a yeah they're yeah. internal, yeah. I think. Ah, so okay, so we won't be able to see it. Don't. We might be able to see the port where they come out of. They're gonna come a, up right on the top. It's a nice, um, it's a nice view from the front. Oh the yeah. Tower. I wonder if some of the little wings pop out a little bit more and the landing gear goes up. Sure. This is with the landing gear down. Yeah, just articulate out. I'm really glad I got them because looking at this makes them just look. So you'll be able to take the uh, gimbals off and put two thick size four guns onto the talon or thick size twos on the shrike. So the talon can is obviously upped in guns and the trade off for the shrike is the missiles, isn't it? Yeah. Should be good regardless. Mm. Daka, daka, daka. Uh, I'm trying to find the info on the amount of missiles. Blah, 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 blah. I think it's 24. If I recall correctly. Yeah, but the back of the ship looks really cool. Mm -hmm. It does look like a bird of prey. They're gonna be pretty sought after. That's it, 24 size 3 missiles. Whoa. 24 size 3, damn. But then it does have pretty mediocre weaponry. That's like the uh, Freelancer miss. <laughs> it's a missile boat. Yeah. yeah, yeah so, so based on, t yeah, it, it's um, kind of a replica ship, isn't it? Based on uh, Tavarin ships. So are we going to see these Tavarin ships like, these are the human variants, right? We're going to see the Tavarin variants? They're the human recreation of Tavarin variants, but in the lore, the Tavarin are like nearly extinct. Dead. Uh, ju ju just a couple of them living in human society, so they're not making any ships with themselves. Yeah, didn't they have like a huge like um like genocide? They, they had a war. Yeah, they, 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 war. They, they had a war that they lost. Um, and I guess it's very nicked all the blueprints for the ships. <laughs> nice. Mm. Yeah, I think next year I might get myself a warden. That's a beautiful. I've flown the warden for so long. I've, I just, I don't know. I love it. But you can buy it in game pretty easily. Yeah, that's true. That's the only reason I might upgrade mine. Hmm. I suppose, yeah. So. That was one of the questions. Was was there the so the whole cockpit eject? So it was something a, a unique 
difference for this ship so rather than you you eject out wasn't it it was the whole cockpit comes off but one of the questions was is the cockpit then maneuverable like a escape pod or something and it's no <laughs> no you'll just be floating there in the cockpit what's the point <laughs> but we i guess i guess then uh, like further questions to that which weren't asked would be is it a sealed cockpit is there air in it is there um, we know that at some point, isn't it, there's going to be restrictions on what armors you can wear in certain ships and stuff because of the size. So it would be interesting if that actually the the reason why the whole thing comes off is because you can't wear a suit in it. That'd be interesting. Yeah, I mean that that's pure speculation, fight, but but it would no be armor. interesting because then you're going to have to have someone come and rescue you. Uh, and it kind of serves to make the search and rescue gameplay then, doesn't it? But they, they look cool. I, I, I really like the way they landed. Um, it's quite compact as well. What, uh, what did we say before about uh, the Prowler and the Tavarian? Because it's very bird-like. And you'd, you'd think then, well... And every sci-fi trope uh, uh, thing does it with aliens. They, they, their ships all look like the aliens, so they're they're supposed to be bird, uh, bird-like people, and all the ships look like birds. But that would be like all our ships should look like humans. No, no, Alpha, that's why you're wrong. Um, humans make robots that look like humans. That that bit that bit works. When when a human thinks of something that walks, he thinks of a human. So when a bird thinks of something that flies, he thinks of a bird. And then we make sense that a ship, that they would model their ships after birds. It's a natural flight mechanics. Like the only things that have flight mechanics here in, on this planet are birds and things that glide, like squirrel. You know, those flying squirrels. And so you're obviously going to have wings for lift. So maybe that's a deciding factor. Where it's going to be atmospheric incursion kind of stuff it will do really well the space suit yeah the space be really maneuverable so comparable with the or in the same kind of ballpark as the uh, gladius and the arrow <laughs> but cool really squishy right yeah but that payload though I mean yeah with that payload they better be squishy <laughs> yeah. Hit and for that price, they're not expensive. For a brief moment. You get five of those together, and yeah, I think I think that's where a lot of this will come into, uh, um, you know, play. But missile, missiles are supposed to be um, like do more damage if they hit. So we, we've had having some changes, aren't they? They're working on countermeasures and stuff like that missile gameplay um, but yeah if you get the jump on someone and and they hit hopefully you know if not destroyed crippled that ship so I, I think there's going to be a place for single fighters going around and this is where there's no health bar on ships so if you get the jump on someone and damage them you, you can be flying around on your own and just um well, I think I think calling in your buddies kind of after the fact. Yeah, they're supposed to kind of pair with each other too. Like, you the you know the um the gun one flies in first and just peppers the target. You know, weakens yeah, the, the shields and stuff yeah. there. And then and then behind that one there's the missile one there, and it's locking in a bunch of missiles. And so the gun one peels off, and the other one's just barraging with missiles. And the um the star the star runner would be a good example of where you know where to hit the ship. So yeah. you'd be coming in, and that that rear that rear left where all the components are, that's where you want to try and weaken the shield and get the the missiles onto. I don't know how accurate we'll get missile targeting, but you know, if you or hit, you could do it the other way around, side. where you could use the missiles just to damn pop down the shields, and then you know the behind us the the gun yeah, one and it just, just comes the more and accurate just blazes shots. the corner. Just because you know anything that goes through the if anything penetrates the hull though it's going to hit components so you know they might be able to carry on a bit but they're either going to have a big fire or 
um, you know, power's going to go out or the shields will go down. Or, or you can sit there and just pop engines, you know, you yep. get some there. I think they're supposed to be like precision target on like, I think they're designed probably like larger ships. They're supposed to come in really quick, like under radar, you know, from like, you know, just around the corner, like you only see them at the last second and they're just lining you up and they're just lighting you up. I think they're designed to come in and just break off engines. Cause I think they're actually, these little ships are supposed to like come in so close that they can get underneath the shields. So instead of you know, trying to pepper down the shield, I think they probably come underneath and they can come under. I don't know how, she, cause she, I don't I think if shields work out like they do right now, they're kind of a big bubble where you can actually get underneath the shield. And if you can get underneath the shield, you know, you, you have free game. I think they're designed to kind of come in, especially on big capital ships where you can come in there and just like fly right up next to like, you know, huge size gun and just pepper it right there and fly out. I'm trying to see if we can see where the uh, missiles would um, Got this douche be, right here. But... This douche are trying to fuck with you. I, I think know, there's the, um, me. I, can't I think it's the right it. in this right in the center of, of it, Cox right down the kind of the, the top spine of it. If you look, if you kind of come up to the front and look down the front kind of center of it, there's um. Make you feel very uncomfortable with my naked body. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was trying to move the camera around a bit. Although, to be fair, it's like all the, the rooms with the Perseus, we've literally got two days. There's no, there's no point going to trying to work out stuff when we're going to get an answer in a couple of weeks and actually yeah, fly yeah. it. 